What's up people, welcome to the channel. I'm gonna do a quick video for you guys. I'm going to install some coil packs on my 03 Dodge Ram 4.7. I figured while I'm doing that, I'll go ahead and record it just in case anybody else out there is looking to install some coil packs. Maybe this video will help them out. All right guys, so before we get started, I wanna give a shout out to Auto Saver. They went ahead and sent out these ignition coil packs for me to install these are for a v8 3.7 or 4.7 liter what we'll do is we'll go ahead and unbox these see how they look and then we'll go ahead and install them all right guys so this is what they look like outside of the box they were all pre-wrapped in this bubble wrap individually so the packaging was real nice kept everything safe in the box so everything looks good Take a closer look at one. Looks like it's built pretty well. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and I'll show you guys how to install these. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and install this on my 4.7 liter V8. This is an 03 Dodge Ram. First thing I did is went ahead and disconnected the battery cables here. Then we're gonna go ahead and remove the air filter I already loosened this band here just pop that off you guys can see down here there's just a couple nubs this whole air filter I'll go ahead and lift out that's how easy that was Next, we're gonna go ahead and take this off. Got a bolt here. And you're gonna have a bolt underneath right here. I already removed them. And make sure you disconnect the sensor. Pop it up. And then pull it out. These are the coil packs here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right guys, so what you wanna do is you're gonna to wanna to loosen each one of these nuts on each coil and you're going to be using a 10 millimeter for that so go ahead loosen all those up and then what you're going to do is remove this connector here you're going to push down and then pull out All right guys, so after you get the nut loose and disconnect this connector, you're gonna wanna pull up on this coil pack. You might wanna use a little persuasion. Um, they can be stuck in there a little bit. So what I did is I persuaded a little bit with this pry bar, just eased it all the way around because it is made out of plastic. So, and then pop it out and that's what it's gonna look like. You're just going to do the reverse. Just drop the new one in there, bolt it back up, and plug it back in. You're going to end up doing that to all eight. While you're doing this, it's always good to go ahead and remove your spark plugs and replace those since you're already in here. Also, a good word of advice before you go ahead and start replacing them all or pulling them all out, make sure that they match up and it's the right part. And usually what I do is I just replace one at a time, plug it in, go on to the next one. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you something real quick as I was removing some of these. As you guys can see here, the whole stud actually came out. Only this top nut right here is supposed to loosen, take off, and then you take this coil pack off. But this whole stud ended up coming out. So what I did is I'm just 
I went through and I end up after that happened with the first one I just soaked all of the bolts with some PB blaster let it sit for a little bit then went through was able to remove the six out of eight the way they're supposed to be and then these two I still had an issue so I'm letting these soak a little bit longer and then what I'll do is I'll just put a wrench over on one end here and then I'll go ahead and put the socket on the top and ease it out don't want to put too much pressure on this because you don't want to snap this then you have to replace the whole stud so as long as you soak it with some pb blaster for a little while and then ease it back and forth back and forth i end up coming out just like this one did don't rush it because you don't really want to break the stud if you don't have to then go ahead and just run the stud back through so that then you can mount the new coil on it all right, so I got everything buttoned up here, put everything back together, got all the coils installed, batteries back together here. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up. Hopefully everything starts and runs good. All right guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully this video was informational for you. You need to put some coil packs in a vehicle of yours. It's pretty easy, not too hard, and uh, hopefully it helps you guys out. If it did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you guys like what I'm doing on my channel, hit that subscription button, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you guys get notified when I post a video. I'll put a link in the description box below to these coil packs. There'll be a link for Amazon. Helps out the channel a lot. If you click on that link, I really appreciate it. Talk to you guys later. Bye. 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 Bye.